Welcome travelers, I'm Lee Wanika of Tabletop Journeys, and this is On the Right Path. Hi, everyone. Just checking in really fast with some late breaking news, some stuff that just recently came up from Wizards of the Coast. Watsi has hit us with a lot over the past few years, most of it not great, some of it pretty interesting and pretty uh, kind of cool to talk about. Actually, most of it's cool to talk about. It's good to be informed. Look, I've been a gamer for a lot of years and I want good products on tables doesn't matter from whom doesn't matter by what i just want good products on tables so great people can play great games and i think think this is some news that lends itself towards that overall goal so let's get into it let's talk about what they're doing and or what's come up earlier today on dnd beyond watsi has released a little blog article. This blog article is about the systems reference document or SRD, specifically SRD 5.2. 5.1 is what we have been using since 2014. And there was no SRD for older stuff, or I'm not sure exactly how that works. But the point is, 5e has always had the SRD 1. After the OGL crisis a year or so ago, uh, Watsi decided to put that SRD into the Creative Commons, basically public use. The rules, the mechanics are public use. Nothing regarding lore or specific campaign setting, IP, things of that nature. So that was good. That was a great outcome from a terrible situation. Now what we're hearing today is about what happens with the 2024 core book releases of the next D&D product. And I like what I'm hearing, though this is Watsi, so I'm going to hold off formal judgment till everything's out. But this is a great first step. Essentially, Wizards of the Coast is going to release the core book material from the Player's Guide, the DM's Guide, and the Monster Manual into Creative Commons by way of the 5.2 SRD. I like that news. The article goes into a lot of good details regarding their stated intent. Some of it's corporate speak. Some of it is probably well-intentioned. I have good faith that creators in that company believe this. I have good faith in the fact that there's an overall goal of positivity here from most folks within that organization. My questions, my concerns are always at the top and have very little to do with the creative people at all. But this is, again, a really good first step. One of those, but one of the facts that they made very clear is none of this happens until after the core books are fully released and in the hands of players. What that basically goes on to say is all three books have to come out before we get anything in Creative Commons. But once it's there, third-party creators such as Tabletop Journeys, and so many others can use that as a guidepost and a starting frame to build third-party content more accurately to continue to build third-party content. That's a great step for the process that was begun when the fans rose up against Wizards of the Coast and Hasbro and the OGL. They also answered some really great questions some of them I think more important than the others, but one that really caught my eye is when the SRD 5.2 releases, will we still have access to the 5.1? The answer quite simply is yes, they're separate documents. So SRD 5.1 continues, SRD 5.2 begins. More importantly, if companies wish to make 5E material, they can using that SRD in Creative Commons. If they wish to make 
the new D and D products or compatible products. They use SRD 5.2 and Creative Commons. Basically, we get to keep doing what we third-party content creators have been doing, and we'll have a little bit more. A lot of discussion about what else goes into that, but more importantly, this is a great first step, a great general process. If it holds true at the end, I like where this is going. Look, here's the deal. Watsi has reconfirmed their specific release dates on their materials. If you don't know already, Player's Handbook is due in the hands of players September 2024. The Dungeon Master's Guide, short time after, November 2024. Finally, trailing all of that, we're finally going to see a Monster Manual probably around February of 2025, which means... None of this happens. Third-party creatives can work on their lore, work on their IP, get everything ready to go, and then start filling out those stat blocks after February of 2025 or as soon as the, the 5.2 document goes live. We don't have a specific date on that yet, but we have a good idea that it's coming, and I really, really like that. Look, we're here at Tabletop Journeys. I'm here I love to hear comments. I love discussions. A lot of the topics I talk about in this blog is based on questions that I see online. What I'm asking is leave those questions right here under this little message I'm putting together. Talk to us. Let us know what you're thinking. Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with me? Look, I know people are going to hate on Watsi. I know people are going to hate on the man. There's a bunch of people going to say, make your own thing. Do this other game. Got it. Hear you. Do that if that works for you. Some of us like all of those things. And when you like all of those things, sometimes you kind of got to do a little bit uh, right here with the game that brought you. That happens to be D&D. So I'm happy to say I intend to keep playing d and I intend to keep creating things for d and even as... I spread my wings and create for other games, other game systems, and play other games and other game systems. So again, tell me what you think in the comments below. Smash the like button, ring the bell for notifications, do all the crazy stuff. And of course, make sure you're sharing this with your friends. Because when you're talking about these things and there's creatives on your table and they want to do their own thing, put a little something on the DM's guide, guild or drive through or heck i don't know start your own kickstarter what i'm saying is hashtag call your boys ttj more importantly if you're doing creative things with creative people and you have good intentions in your heart and mind then you're on the right path 